Hi friends, welcome back to Enjoy English with Susan, right? Well, it's a good day and it's nice to meet you all again. And yesterday I did talk to you about the definite article the. And today I, I want to talk to you about the indefinite articles a and a, right? So we need to get equipped with the knowledge of articles uh, to speak the language uh, in a better manner in a very uh, uh, perfect manner rather I can tell so well now immediately let's get into it and check what is about A and N right good well I'm pretty sure that there are around uh, 17 rules which you gotta follow while you're using A, and, A or N rather you know sometimes you may have to use a and uh, sometimes you may have to use that you know depending upon the scenario right uh, depending upon the noun you know well if the noun starts with a vowel sound you gotta use and there before it if uh, if an article is necessary and if the noun starts with a consonant sound you gotta use a right and so I'll go through the rule one by one for you and you can listen to it and you can really grasp and imbibe it in your mind and uh, you can make use of it whenever it's necessary, right? Let's get started. Well, A and N are indefinite articles. Now, the choice between A and N is a sound rule and not a spelling rule. The choice depends on the initial sound of the noun or adjective that immediately follows the article. Use A before a singular countable noun beginning with a consonant sound. Let's use an before a singular countable noun beginning with a vowel sound. So what is and uh, now keep in mind if uh, there is an adjective, you know, before the noun. And uh, if you have to use an article there, you know, you need to see the initial sound of the adjective, you know. If the adjective starts with a consonant sound, then you gotta use a before the adjective. But make sure the noun is there after the adjective, you know. Then only the article applies, you know. And if the adjective starts with a vowel sound then you gotta use and before but make sure there is a noun after the adjective only if there is a noun after the adjective the article is applied you know uh, otherwise the article is not relevant right keep that in mind okay so now let's see the usage of a and an right so before a noun beginning with a consonant sound or a vowel sound you got to use a or n right so for example i have a car is one sentence so here you have car as a noun and uh, so you want to indicate that uh you have a car one car so you can use the article a there so indicate one car you know and another sentence he has an umbrella the second sentence you know he has an umbrella so here if you see why we are using an is because uh, umbrella starts with a vowel sound whereas the previous sentence the first sentence if you see car starts with a consonant sound and so that's the reason we used a there right but here if you see he has an umbrella it starts with a vowel sound. Umbrella is a noun. It starts with a vowel sound. So we gotta use an, right? The second one is the second rule, you know. When we mention someone or something for the first time. I'll give you an example sentence, you know. We have bought a new computer and it was cheap here we are talking about the computer for the first time so when you're talking about something or you know, some person for the first time you know 
then you gotta use a before it. If you see here, no, in this sentence, well, we have bought a new computer. The article is used before the adjective, and the adjective is followed by, and the adjective is there, and after the adjective we call the noun computer. So you can also use the article before the adjective also. But make sure there is a noun after the adjective, right? The third point, the third rule rather, when we talk about price or weight, speed, etc. We gotta use article, right? Well, for example, it is ten dollars a kilo. That's the first sentence. Here, the next one is Jack wants a million dollar. Another example sentence I can give you: the car goes to forty kilometers an hour. The fourth rule here you have is you know to state what type of person someone wants to become. She wants to become a dancer, you know, in this sense, in this example sense, if you check, you know, oh, she wants to become a dancer, you know, someone wants to become something, you know, well, uh, so uh, when, we, when you want to mention about uh, what they want to become, there before the noun you got to use the article, you know, so that's the rule says, you know, uh, he wants to become an ortho specialist. Here you're using an. The reason is like you no, know, ortho starts with a vowel sound. You know, and that's the reason we gotta use an here. And for uh, the previous sentence, you no, know, dancer was the noun, and dancer starts with a consonant sound. So you gotta use a there, right? The fifth rule. An, an expression of quantity such as a lot, a few, a great deal of, a bit of, like that, you know, with all these phrases, you know, oh, no, oh you can, uh, you gotta use, you know, in sentences. Uh, for example, you know, I have a lot of money, right? So here you're using a lot of, you know, uh, a bit of luck helped him. So in those type of sentences you can use uh, no or oh, a there, you know, the article a, right? Oh, I can tell you another example of sentence. A great deal of money is being spent on the shell. So like this you can try, you know, talking using the article a and and right. Oh another uh, rule I can tell you now. Let me complete this session with the sixth rule and I will come back to you uh, in the next uh, no, video with the other uh, six rules, okay? So, before a particular day, season or holiday, right? So when you're mentioning about a particular day, season or holiday, you gotta mention, uh, no, the particular day, holiday, or season using uh, the article, right? Example sentences I'll give you. It was a summer evening. Another one. They came on a Sunday evening. These are some example sentences for this rule, okay? Well, I'll take it for granted that you all watched the video and uh, reckless was very useful for you and I've gone through six rules for you now and there are uh, around 17 rules actually in total. Now uh, I'll go through another six rules in the next video and the other five I'll go through it for you in the uh, no, next video after that, you know. Uh, so, well, with this in mind, I want to say tada bye bye god bless everybody